Hello, everybody. Dr. Nick here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, it's Nick here, AK Foggy, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over the actual Toshiba Chromebook 2 review that I said I'd do about a month or two ago. I don't know if you remember, but I actually did a unboxing video. You can check out it in the description, or I'll post a link up on the screen right here. Now, I wanted to wait a, a month or two, or a few weeks, just to get a feel for it, see how it handles, awesome. and... I've been using it pretty much every night since I brought it and my first impressions are it's a really sturdy cheap Chromebook to be honest it's handled very well I've used it for about three hours every night I'd say the speeds are, are very good for its price range it's quite good anyway let's turn it on and I can show you the screen properly and Tell you a bit of details about it. Welcome back. Okay, let's turn it on. It's got a very quick load up speed, as you can see. Right, one, two, three, four, five. Five seconds it booted up in, and that's pretty good. Let me just log in quickly and I'll be right back. Sorry about that, that's a bit of change of scenery. Yeah, okay, let me run off the specs on this for you quickly. The weight of it is 1.4 kilos. Obviously, the colour is silver. Screen size is 13.3 inches. Processor brand is Intel. Processor type is a Celeron. Processor speed is 2.16 gigahertz. It has 4 gigs of RAM in it. And that RAM is a DDR3 SD RAM. Hard drive size, even though it hasn't really got a hard drive, I'll go on more about that in a moment, is 16 gigs. Graphics card is an Intel HD graphics. Graphics RAM is a DDR3 SD RAM. And the operating system is obviously a Chrome OS. Now because this, this um, Chromebook isn't as power hungry as most laptops, it lasts like forever. I think I can go a whole night for about 7 hours. This is while streaming videos and surfing the internet as well. And it lasts about seven hours. It's 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 excellent. I would take a guess that if you don't stream videos, it could last easily nine ten hours. That's just from basic web surfing. Okay, now let me show you the menu down on the bottom right. Down here, yeah, you can see you got the time, your Wi-Fi signal, your battery life, and your profile picture. You decide to choose. I actually chose this with the the um, webcam that's on it. Pretty good, but I'll go on about that in a moment. Okay, so you just click on down here and it brings up everything, your sign out. Obviously you connect to your Wi-Fi, you can enable your Bluetooth and your sound here. Obviously you can click on settings. This will bring up your Chrome settings where you can edit your internet connection, the appearance, your device, and such things like that. Okay, the only trouble you will have with this, unless you've got like Hawkeyes, is you might need to change the um, actual font size of your Chrome settings because the writing will come up really small. So you just click on Show Advanced Settings, just there, and you scroll down to Web Content. And for me, 125% is spot on. That looks normal for me. I'll show you what that looks like actually. Two seconds. Right, so we go to, um, I've already got the Wikipedia homepage up and running, this, you can see what it's like on 125%. Okay. As you can see, it's quite legible, you can, you can clearly read it. Okay, let's come out of that, and we'll go back into settings, and change it back to 100%. Doo -doo, and boom, okay. So even there, you can see it went slightly smaller. We'll minimize that, we'll go back into the Wikipedia. We'll bring up that, yeah. but even there you can see it's very small. And there. And after a while that will hurt your eyes trying to look at that. Okay. Just bear in mind that then. Let me change it back to Doobie, 125% and then we'll go on to customization. 
unfortunately there isn't that's the only thing I've disappointed with in this laptop was there wasn't much in the way of customization. Obviously you had your settings in there to edit your thing but let me bring up this quickly. That's all there is, set wallpaper. That's that's the only way in customization you really have. Well, first looks anyway, I haven't really gone into modding or editing anything. Okay, before we go any further, I want to show you a bit about the functionality of the actual laptop regarding keys and how it looks. Just let me whiz this down. And shush. Right, there we go. As you can see, it hasn't got any caps lock. Instead, that's a search function. That will bring up... It will bring up that. Bear that in mind, you have to always do shift. And to right click, you have to get that pen out of the way. Right click, you have to press Alt. Okay. And on the other hand, you have to just one tap. And that will bring up any right clicking you do. To change your sound, all you have to do is you have, you've got three options up here. You've got your mute button, lower the sound, and heighten the sound. I, I think this is quite good, really, because you've got it all in one area. If you need to turn it up or down, just do it. It's quite good. Obviously, you've got your refresh button, backwards, forwards, yada, yada, yada. And some random keys there. Obviously, no number pad. Apart from that, it's a pretty basic recessed inspiration from the Apple laptops, really. It feels very good as well. And after a while of using this, it's quite. It feels very good, to be honest. And there's a couple you've mentioned from other reviews, I don't know if you read any other reviews. This can be quite sharp, so after a while you're leaning on it, perhaps laying down, you can start digging in. But I, I didn't find that too much of an issue, to be honest. And under here is your speakers. You have one here and one there underneath your laptop. I'm quite in book, sorry. Made by Skull Candy. And they're quite powerful to be honest. I'll show you the sound in a moment. Yeah. Anywho, let's go back to the actual screen. Before we go any further, let me just quickly show you what it looks like down here. Obviously you've got your Google Chrome, which is its main browser you use. YouTube. I don't think you have that down there. That's Google got Google Files. Okay, that's what it looks like. Remember, everything you save on there goes to the cloud because it hasn't actually got a a hard drive. So everything you save locally on your 16 gig piece of hardware, you'll um it'll sync up with the cloud when you access internet next. Obviously, you got your Google Drive, My Drive. And the download you do. And in here is your Google Docs, this is your equivalent of, of Word. Okay. You can choose your documents in there. Bottom left down here, you can see this is where you search. And that's what, if you remembered earlier, that search button down here. Yes, this is what it brings up. You could just search the internet on there. We'll come out of that. I'll see you got your email down there as well. Now the speeds on this uh they're okay, they're quite good for this laptop, for this Chromebook. They're um for the price range is actually very good. Let me open a few tabs for you and I'll do a stress test. But yeah it connects to the internet very well as well. So we do a Google we'll do YouTube We shall plop in, what else could we do, let's do my Twitter, Twitter, if you haven't already, follow me, my followers are going up quite nicely, I'll post some good content up as well, you'll keep you up to date with all my shizzle, let's 
Let's go to my website. Again, if you haven't checked out my website, give it a browse. There's some good stuff on there. It's growing daily. What else can we do? Oh, let's go Amazon. Amazon. Black Friday deals this week. Very good. And let's go on my favourite game. Modeltanks.eu. Play a quick video. Oh, why not? Let's do our own unboxing video. That's the sound. It's buffing quite well, considering all the tabs I've got open. And it's on 720. As you can see. That's halfway and that's quite loud really. Save you the trouble, I'm just gonna open it one by one. I'm not gonna bother showing you. And mute. Yeah, very loud. <laughs> and it runs quite smooth. I do have trouble I don't know if it, whether it's my internet, but I do have trouble with um running ten eighty P videos. I struggle slightly on that. But otherwise it's a fantastic speed wise. You can happily stream um, 720 in full screen and it looks pretty alright. You don't need 1080p to be honest. Okay, and that's pretty much the Chromebook to be honest. Oh, webcam. Good point. Alright, let me show you something quickly as well. It's quite a useful tip. On here, if you use two fingers, okay, let me just move this quickly. Sorry about the shakiness. Okay. You go like that. That will take you backwards and forwards. Okay? So two fingers, you just go doosh, doosh, and that will. Let me show you. Let me go forward a couple of pages. Let's go on Twitter. And on my site. Okay? It's so using two fingers, yeah? Using two fingers. Does it eventually? Yeah, look, go back. You can go back. So you swipe left, it'll go back. Swipe right, it'll go back to your previous page. Right. That's the equivalent of clicking up here, you know. Okay, to the webcam. As you can see up there, let me focus this shit in. Okay. There you have the mics, you've got three mics, one, two, three. And your webcam. Yeah, um, brands a 0.9 megapixel webcam. Do full HD in it. Let me show you a pic I've took. I took this on holiday. I actually found a shop which did my monsters. Mm -hmm. I took that with it. As you can see, sunburnt as hell. But yeah, the um. It's alright. It struggles in bright environments though. It's it's pretty good for actual video calls. Whilst we're on the subject of the display as well. This is a full HD IPS display. So it's beautiful in it. And no matter where you tilt it, it'll still be the same con contrast. Which is I find it's really excellent when you're trying to lounge down and you're, you're not struggling to see what you're typing. Yeah, overall, it's very good for the money, to be honest. Okay, just to answer a couple of questions, that was on my unboxing video. Let me bring them up quickly, I'll be with you. Tony JK says, is this the refreshed version? Obviously, I answered it in last, but I'll answer it here as well. And by the refresh version, he means there's a new version of this coming out soon. Actually, it'll be 
yeah, because this, lap, this Chromebook came out in 2014, and this refreshed version is going to be coming out in October, which is already out, so. And this will include the i3 and i5 variants of the processor, obviously with the 4 gigs of RAM as well, a little bit higher price. So yeah, this, this is the normal version, this one here. This is one from 2014. The next question. Next question is from Intend Mind. Thanks for the video. How's the webcam on a Chromebook when using Skype or chatting? Looks really like a real 78p or bearable. Yeah, as I said, it's got a 0.9 megapixel camera, so it'll be 780p and above. Just uh, stick around from stick away from bright lights and stuff. I haven't really used it myself, but I've seen reviews and I've took pictures with it, and it's come out fine. It's come out really good actually. So yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't seen my unboxing video already, I'll go over the actual the, out, the outside of this. I'll show you the ports and everything. Check that out. I'll leave a link in the description. If you've got any more comments or questions, feel free. Put them down in the comment section. Check out my site as well. Um, I post some cool stuff on there. I've also set up a Patreon account. So if you'd like to buy me energy drink each month, then you can do that. I'll leave a link in the description also for that. Thanks for watching, hope you have a brilliant day and I'll catch you soon.